Welcome to the second installation of Yoga Art Magic. Um, my name is Estelle and I am here in beautiful France at the studio where I'm doing my yoga teacher's residency, Arles Yoga. And I've been teaching here all last week and then this week. And I really wanted to do one here because the studio is so neat, so different from what we find at home. And also to keep a bit of a rhythm into your uh, videos and how you work with um, the symbol. I would love your feedback from the first video um, and uh, to see how I can always like make them better. If you want them shorter, longer, um, I want that. So let's begin. Uh, today I am introducing the symbol of um, the fire. Symbol of the fire. I've dressed uh, uh, adequately <laughs> um, and we'll be working with that in our practice today. Let's begin. <laughs> and the symbol of the fire is from my collection of cards from the sacred symbol cards. And those are really the original uh, symbols that I've worked with now for more than three years. Um, and the fire is a very um, powerful, transformative uh, symbol. Just when you think of the fire, we call it um, agony in yoga and in Sanskrit. And it's really what resides in, uh, in your belly and produces this combustion and this um, you know, burning of effect. Um, and we let our breath really uh, kind of burn up what we don't uh, need anymore. So um, as you know, uh, I love to just keep the card of uh, the fire near so I can see it throughout my practice as I move uh, with the meaning of the fire. Um, but also uh, I can work with the word of the card, which is um, for this one is energy. Um, and I'm going to add bits and pieces of, um, you know, how can I make my uh, flow a bit more fierce, a bit more uh, fiery. And actually, um, this will be uh, the whole um, theme of my Fierce and Fiery Flow, um, a workshop I'm giving at On The Mat in November. Um, so um, fire is very elemental and and it's a really fun card and subject to work with um, in yoga. Um, I wouldn't recommend this practice if you are on your first day of your period or if you're pregnant, just because it creates a lot of heat, obviously. Um, but if you are prone to um, like sluggish and uh, depression a lot, um, and you need a bit more like vitality and warmth in your life, this will be uh, really, really good. It's a good practice to do early, kind of the rise and shine um, of your day, really gets the digestive juices running and flowing. Um, overall, it's a very uh, energizing um, practice to start with, okay? So I'll just put my, my symbol here. I wanted to show you the breath. Um, the fire breath we'll be using a lot and weaving it within um, our flow uh, today. Uh, so it's in through the nose, out of your nose. I like to have my two hands, um, my two hands on my belly um, and really feeling my feet underneath um, the ground on the mat. And I inhale fully. I exhale fully for the first time. Inhale fully. Exhale halfway and begin. and I let it go. Um, uh, and as you see, it's, very, it's easy to kind of like, <laughs> kind of move with it. So we want to really want to keep it in um, the location of the belly. Um, and as you see, it's, it gets really uh, warming. So you, to, if you, you know, you don't want to hyperventilate or anything. So you take this practice at your own pace. Okay, let's begin. So I have uh, my fire card here. I'll put it in front of me so that uh, what I look at uh, really comes inside of me. So it's just an add-on to um, this whole practice. We're gonna have our hands down on our thighs and make sure that you're not collapsed, huh? that the shoulders are away from the ears. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. 
And uh, for the fire practice, I really like to have both hands on my belly. And this is where I create, um, I create from my core, from my center. And I plug into my conscious breath. I really know that I'm breathing in and I really know that I'm breathing out. And the message of the fire is, um, this fire symbol is, may I be filled with fiery energy. May I be filled with fiery energy. I'll take a deep breath in, exhale halfway, and begin. For three, and two, and one, let it go. And we're just gonna let that um, just kind of simmer through. Uh, you will interlace your fingers behind your head and lean back as if you're like pulling your head back. And we're gonna lean back into the hands. And really find lots of space in the intercostal muscles. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring your elbows in, really rounding your spine. And we'll do it again. So inhale, a little scoop up. And exhale, in. Continue in. And bring the navel in one more. Mm, and in. And we'll come back to our center. Okay, let's go into a tabletop. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and we're gonna do some uh, cat cow stretch. Inhale to look up, hips are up, and exhale to round in, chin to chest. Okay, and so within the fiery breath and the fiery kind of snippets of our practice, we will add some water to kind of, uh, kind of cool things off as we go and really create um, uh, you know, stabilizing, creating a, a bit of a homeostasis for the body and the practice. Okay. And we can come back to tabletop, walk your hands to the right side of the body. <laughs> and I'll just make sure that my left hip is back, my right hip is forward. I create a stretch in the left side of my body. Okay. And um, make sure you're not, you know, collapsed. You're really pressing back with your hands. There's lots of space in between your fingers. I'm going to walk back to center. We're going to go all the way to the other side. And I can hear my breath. I'm listening to my body. And I'll come back to uh, center. Now curl your toes under, bring your knees to a hover, and I'll stay here. And I'll do my fire breath here. So we're gonna inhale, exhale halfway, and begin. And I'm gonna facing dog. And sometimes you wish you had a Kleenex when you can do this breath. Um, so you're scooping your, um, your bum up way up towards the ceiling. You can bend your knees as much as you need. Again, pushing your hands away from the mat. And you can move your jaw a little bit and let the head go. Let the head go. Take a deep breath in here, filling up. And exhale, big sigh. So cool things down. And look forward, walk forward, passive, fo passive forward fold. Uh, so your feet are hip width and you can grab your elbow bones and simply uh, release here. You can switch the grip, switch the grip. Good. And then I look at my card on the way. It's with me. It's within my field. The toes touch. Inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale to a bow. And sweep your arms all the way up, look up. And bring your palms back at your heart. Okay, and from here, you can repeat the saying, you know, may I be filled with fiery energy. And the words will uh, really, um, you know, weave through you. And the other single word we have is energy, right? Vitality. Um, the spark of life. Uh, extend your arms out uh, straight ahead. We're going to flip them again and bring the right hand over the left and bring everything back, working with the shoulders. I'm really pressing my hands in together. Take a deep breath in. 
and exhale, you can kind of unroll everything out. We'll be back, we'll do the other side up. Shoulders away from your ears, take a deep breath in. And exhale, this time we're gonna unroll until we come all the way down. Inhale for a flat back, flat spine. Exhale, plant your hands onto the mat, engage and bring the right toes back, or right knee down for a low lunge and sweep your arms all the way up. The left knee is on top of the left heel. Take a breath in, growing tall from your waist and exhale, bring your palms facing one another and we'll bring them again. We'll do our same little ritual and bring them on up and a quick fire breath here, inhale. Exhale halfway and begin. And we'll release all of this. We'll sit back, hamstring stretch. Take a breath in and exhale. Come back to center, three legged tabletop. Left hip back, right hip forward. Take a breath in. And exhale for the descent, chin down. Curl your back toes, unroll. Forehead down. And a small cobra. So we'll lift the heart. And the collarbones are really broad here. And pulling back on your next inhale. You'll be back to a tabletop. Curl your toes. We'll come back from the beginning. Knees to a hover. Inhale. Exhale, halfway. And begin. Let it go, and then downward facing dog. It's pretty hard to tuck and do the fire breaths at the same time, but that's okay. Take a deep breath in, and exhale for a sigh. Good, look forward, walk forward. The toes will be joined together right away. Inhale to a long spine, fingertips up on the shin bones. Exhale to a bow and anchor your feet down and sweep your arms up a big circle and we'll bring the palms back at your heart and coming back to my intention creating fire burning things off what i don't need in my life inhale sweep your arms all the way up look up gaze up and exhale for a nice dive all the way down inhale to a long spine breathing in my ribcage and exhale, plant my hands, and left toes back, left knee down, little lunge on the other side. I lift my thighs, I lift my arms, take a deep breath in, and exhale, bring your palms together, and we'll do the left side. So flip your palm, left on top, sweep up, take a breath in, and four, fire breath. And let that go. Look down and sit back. Sit back. And we'll ride the wave, the flame again. And we'll kick all the way back. Kick all the way back. You can curl that back toe. Take a deep breath in. Grow tall. And exhale. Chin. And we'll fall down into our little cobra. So good for your low back, this one. Rising on up. Engaging the low back. Breathing there. Paying your attention there. Good, and then I can pull back and find downward facing dog, curl toes, hips up, and downward dog. Take a breath in, big sigh out. Good, and then come back on your knees, your hips to your heels. Uh, I'll get you to find uh, Gaya Mudra, uh, so your index and your thumbs are touching. And right here to uh, the fire of your belly, which is actually just on top of your navel. So not the navel itself, but just on uh, top. And I'll read my, with my, so with both hands on the navel. And my card says here, uh, fire represents intuition and inspiration. Uh, and inspiration is a spark in itself. And we're gonna extend the right arm out, inhale. And exhale, bring it back in. Inhale the other side. 
and exhale back. So we're gonna continue like this. You can close your eyes. I once did this in class and a lady came back after and she said she felt she was like weaving herself back together, which I thought was just a lovely um, image to have. Um, and so keeping with that idea of that fire inside. <laughs> bringing things back to the core. Okay, and finally we can have your hands to your thighs. Keep your eyes closed, your jaw soft. I am filled with fiery energy. Okay, on your backs now. Uh, on your backs now. And the shins will be parallel to the ceiling. Bring your arms out like the letter T. The palms are face down. And you're going to try to bring your low back down so the navel will really come in and the chin as well. Take your breath in. And exhale. The knees to the left without the thighs touching the floor. Inhale back up. And exhale. The knees to the other side. Try to keep your shoulders down as much as you can. And down. Inhale up and exhale down again. Really, we're engaging the core here. We'll, we're building its resistance, building stamina. For three and two and one. Grab your shins, pull them in. Your thighs come close to your belly. And the chin is in. You can pull as much as you want, usually on the exhale. Extend your legs out so you're just looking at your beautiful toes that have lots of space. Your toes are kind of wild and away. And your palms are face down. Lift your bum up and you'll place your hands underneath your bum. If that's too much to just have your hands alongside the body, it's perfectly fine. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, the feet can come about a quarter of the way. Inhale again. And exhale about a halfway. Inhale. And exhale to a hover. Keep smiling for three and two and one. Bend the knees in, pull the navel in, and we'll do that just once more. Take a deep breath in. And exhale about a quarter of the way. Inhale. Exhale down halfway. Inhale. And exhale to a hover for three. And two, and one. Bend the knees back in. Give yourself a nice big hug. And the circulation now coming back in. Your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, pulling everything in. Okay, I'll get you to a turn onto one side and come back up to a seat, to a seat. Um, and I love that the studio has fireworks everywhere um, because it reflects a bit of uh, the energy of the fire symbol. And bring your palms down on your thighs. And we'll go back to having your hands to your belly. Not, not lose this awareness. Light twist. L left hand onto the right thigh, right hand back. Using the back hand as a second spine. Take your breath in, grow tall. Exhale, sending the right one back. The chin stays parallel to the floor. Come back to center. And we'll go on the other side. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Grow tall. And twist. Grow tall. And twist. Good. And come back to center. Uh, we'll end in um, easy seat. I just get to keep that energy that we build and that we transformed. We've changed now from uh, 15 minutes ago. Your skin is brighter. You're breathing um, wider within. And together, take a deep breath in and a breath out. And I'll just finish with the last word of this card. Bring your palms up your heart, press them in. And it says, remember, you are filled with fiery energy. 
Do not dissipate, do not waste, do not burn out. Rather, hold tight to this valuable gift. Namaste, thank you.